Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Hi, Andy. Hi, what does what he say? What does he say here? Heidi, what? Anyway, yo, what's up? I'm Blue. You know, some of you may remember I'm, I'm Red's older brother. He, he don't talk about me much. I'm, I'm sort of the, the white bear of the family, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, we, we got something to talk about this week, and, and that's a cold snap that, that's hitting the U.S., coming down to a damn, you know, they're the Canucks sending their cold weather down here. Anyway, I know a lot of y'all been chatting and, and John about it in the uh, in the message board there about the the cold weather and heating your shop there and, and looking for different ways to, to keep it toasty warm out there when when you're trying to do uh, your shop stuff whatever you folk do down there and I know a lot of you been talking about about this here here and I I wanted to jump in there and say slow your roll chill out there bro you're going to end up taking the old uh, room temperature challenge if you try uh, using one of these. Now, I, I, I joke and I kid and all, but it, it really ain't a joking matter. You know, every year somebody ends up making headlines and we don't want none of y'all doing that, all right? that That's, it's, it's not cool, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But seriously, those kind of heaters and stuff, those propane heaters, you know, there's nothing wrong with them, but it clearly does stain on those things. Let, let me see if I can pull it up here again. Where to, where to put it? There it is. It, it clearly does state these these are for space saving space saving. I can't talk. Space saving outdoor propane heater. Outdoors, okay. That that means. You, you don't use them indoors. And the reason is you're burning something, all right? And when you burn things, it gives off, it, it doesn't give off oxygen. <laughs> Just a hint, all right? And so we, we, we want you all to be safe. So let's talk about a safe way and a budget-friendly way to heat your shop this winter over this cold snap we got going. You know, we're going into the, the dregs of winter, you know. And, and you think, but Blue, this is your favorite time. You guys are nuts. I, I, I'd rather be down in the Bahamas, you know. Some of us, we live up there because the rent's cheap and all, but that doesn't mean we like it. You know, sure, igloos are great. There's lots of snacks inside and whatnot, but but no, we, nobody wants to be cold this winter. I'm going to help you find a way to, to stay warm. Now, I was going to do a bunch of research and, and all, but that's that's what Red does. So I, I, I like to cheat. There, there's a great video already on YouTube called, What's the Best Space Heater? Now, this guy, he, he done nerded it up, and, and he came up with this awesome spreadsheet. It has all these numbers and things in it. But but the gist of it is that if it p takes 15,000 watts, it's going to put out 15,000 watts of heat. doesn't matter if it's a mica heater or an oil-based heater or propane heater. Well, I, I guess propane's taking you know, BTUs and whatnot. Or one of the new infrared quartz heaters. point is that they're all going to put out the same amount of heat. However, there is some issue in how they put it out. Now, don't listen to any of that rubbish about it heats the particles in the air and not the air itself. Oh my gosh, I don't know what these marketer types have been smoking, but there are some basic rules of thermodynamics, aka physics and all. And, and that is radiant heat has to like get on its shoes and walk on over to you. And it's slow and it gets there, but it, it, it's none too specific about it. It takes its time. Then you got conductivity. That's like you stick, stick a hot poker in the fire and the poker gets hot. We all know how that works. Anybody's used a, a blowtorch or something like that. But that not a great way to heat yourself up. And then there's convection. Well, there's a reason that convection cookers are faster than your basic oven. Because it puts the heat on a bus and ships it over to you. It works its way around. And, and let me tell you, convection heating is the way to go for your shop. You want to get the air hot, move that air, get in new cold air, and get that air hot too. Also, don't worry, I'm going to link to that down below for all you nerd types who want to see it. Uh, I, I do recommend it. It's a good video. He, he talks some, about some great ideas about budget ways to heat, and his spreadsheet's got a ton of information in it. So I'm not going to link directly to the spreadsheet. I'm going to link to his video. He did the work. You go watch his video too, and then you can read his spreadsheet. All right, don't don't be cheating like, like Blue does here. <laughs> all right, so we all understand 
Propane heaters are for outdoor use or in very well ventilated, you know, spaces. All right. Now, if we'll, we'll circle around to them, but basically the gist of it is you want something that puts out heat and also pushes air past it. And the end result is you want something like this. Now, these heaters, they, they, uh, what they do, they give a, a quartz filament in it and they have a fan and it pumps it through this nice little box. The whole box stays, you know, pretty much cool to the touch, you know. Now, I know Red's got one of these. He's used one for for years. He uses it in his RV, he uses it in the house. He uses it to heat up the shop. And and I got to tell you, it, it, it does a fine job. You know, it, it's, was it, 70 bucks. This is the newer version of the one he has. Uh, they kind of, they did a different style on the remote control and stuff. But there's different ones out there that you can find. But this is the basic one. And it, and none of this thing gets so hot that, you know, the little one's going to scald himself. Or if a piece of sawdust lands on it, then it's going to catch on fire. All right. Maybe if you throw some sawdust in there or something, you might have a problem. I'm not saying you should throw oily rags over the top of it. But if you set your drink on it or something, I think you'll probably be fine. Anyway, let me show you a video in Red Shop. Where's he, where's he keeping his human around here? Tell his human to get to work. Show that video. Here you go. As you see, it's a little black cube. Nothing fancy there. Uh, it's got its little remote control. Turns itself on. There's a power button up on the front. Uh, it'll do Fahrenheit. It'll do Celsius. For those of you who can't read Fahrenheit. Um, it's got a few other features there. It's got a high, low, and economy mode uh, to try and use a little less power there. Uh, it, you can set a timer on it so that it'll run for a specific amount of time and then turn itself off. Uh, let's see, what else can you do with it? Um, oh, you can set your thermostat temperature uh, anywhere uh, on down to, let's say, 59 there. Uh, you can also do the, all these controls on the front panel as well. So you're not limited to using the remote control in case that thing wanders off or something. We've been pretty good. I'm surprised we haven't lost that sucker considering how often we've moved this thing around and it's traveled with us. And it does, you know, you could I just show it, it takes two double S. Anyway, you, as you see, it doesn't get that hot up in front of it. it you can put your hand right there and you'll be fine. Uh, nothing's going to catch on fire, but it puts out a good amount of heat. Enough so that if you're standing in front of it for a long period of time, it can get a bit uncomfortable. Uh, and the, the back's got a little air filter. You can take that out, clean that every so often, a place to wind up the cord. There's a master power switch. And for you safety nuts, I guess to point out, it's got nice metal caster wheels there, or at least on metal bearings. But it, you tip it over, turns itself off. All right, there you go. It, that that is definitely the way to go for your shop. And I'm gonna say this also. Here's what here's what you do first. You prop open if you're. This is if your garage is attached. You're using a garage shop kind of thing. Prop the door open into your house. Get yourself one of them. You know, fifteen dollar Walmart or box fans, and blow some of that hot air in your house into your shop first. That's gonna kick it off right there. All right. You, they get you going and get your your heater here going and maybe you say like you know i'm gonna work out in the shop in you know in 30 minutes or or 15 minutes or half an hour or so and you know kickstart this thing and then by the time you walk out of your shop it ain't so freezing now don't try also think you're gonna heat this thing up to the point where you're gonna be out there in your skivvies working you know you're gonna want your your long pants on i, I know red is in his shorts and his crocs and stuff but you know, he, he gets his heat tolerance from my side of the, you know, of the family. So, you know, bears, right? What are you going to do? So, but anyway, you just want to get it to the point where it's tolerable. You know, anything above 50 to 60 degrees. And at that point, you're out there, you're working. Your own body heat's going to probably put up more heat than this thing will. And you're going to be looking over this thing going, wow, I feel toastier than a lizard on a hot rock. I need to turn that sucker down. Let, let's move on to some of your other options, all right? If you want something a little bit more rugged that's going to you're going to carry around and take to different places and stuff, here's a ruggedized version of essentially the same thing. It's going to cost you a bit more for that option, but in the end, it's essentially the same thing. Now, let's say 
you want something that it's a little fancier, you know, maybe a little prettier looking, but you want something you can use with your cell phone. Now, now why? You can sit in your living rooms, turn it on, say, hey, I'm going to, you know, go out in the shop and work on this thing in a bit. This will give you a little bit extra control. Yeah, it's a little bit fancy and a little bit silly, but maybe for some of you, that's something you need. Maybe you want something with more aesthetics, you know, something to look a little more pleasing to the eye, give you a more rustic feel out in the shop. I don't blame you. I, I kind of like it. Now, it's 160 bucks, so you're paying a good bit more. Uh, and now, essentially, this is going to put out the same amount of heat, but you get a little fancier control panel there in it. You know what? There's just something about looking over at a fireplace that makes you already feel a little bit toastier, doesn't it? And you got a nice little mantle on top. You can, you know, set some tools up there, maybe put up a charging station and stuff. It, it's not going to get hot up there. Don't let any cords dangle over the front where they're going to roast in front of that blower, but it, it's going to be just fine. Now, say you don't want to send a hundred, you don't want to spend 160 bucks, but you still want something toasty, warm looking, and pleasing to the eye. Well, old Harbor Freight's got you covered right there, and they got a coupon right now, $59.99, and you get this nice, you know, wood burning stove look, very, very rustic. I think that, you know, I wouldn't mind having that in the shop. My only drawback with, with this one is it ain't on wheels, which means you got to have a dedicated spot for it. And you can make use of the top of that. You can, you know, put a nice picture of me up on it if you like. Now, I know some of you are going to say, well, I'm going to get one of these propane forced air heaters, and that's great and all. And they do put out a ton of BTUs where we got 30,000 to 60,000 BTUs. Oh, yeah, it'll heat up. Uh, uh, what does it say? Heats up to 1,300 square feet. Now, now just so you know, your average shop your, is a two-door garage or two-car garage. And you're looking at, what was it, 20 by 20 up to 22 by 22. So you're a little over 400 square feet. A, something like this is a, a bit overkill. B, it takes up a good bit of floor space. See, the heat it puts out right in front of that thing is scorching hot. And lastly, you're still burning something. This is rated, you got to make sure you've got a ventilated space. They even talk about it. Somebody says, can I heat up a tent I'm working in with this? Yeah, but you got to keep ventilation slots open or you're going to end up, you know, again, making headlines. And we don't want to see none of that. So be safe with these, all right? They're not made to be used in a totally enclosed space. And let me tell you, most garages are pretty enclosed. So unless you're going to crack open a window, let, let's be safe and not sorry. Now, let's, the other thing is the propane is a good bit more expensive than electricity. Uh, and unless you're buying it, you know, in thousand pound tanks or something like that, you're going to end up, you know, going through quite a bit. And that's if you read the comments on this, a lot of people talking about, you know, that they thought they could use one of the smaller tanks with this and you got to use the bigger tanks and it got pretty pricey and such. Here, here's an option. If you're dead, if you don't have, so let's say you, your shop's out in an outbuilding, you don't have access to electricity and you're doing, you're like the old school new Yankee works workshop style. Well, here's your solution. This is a portable propane heater. It's going to cost you 120 bucks and it takes the smaller tanks. So let me see if I can get you a picture of it there. No, that ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't. Come on, I know there's one here. There we go. See, you got your little, you know, Coleman style tank. You, you pop it in there. Next thing you know, you, you're you're toasty warm. All right. So there's your propane solution. Now, let's say you want something a bit more permanent. Now you get yourself something like this, two hundred seventy some dollars. Now you're gonna have to run some two twenty out there, two forty, whatever they. I don't know how they do these things. But this is going to mount it up on the ceiling. It's going to blow a nice, toasty, warm air all throughout your shop all winter and summer. And you'll be roasting and stuff. But this is going to be a, a more permanent, you know, heated solution. And for your bigger shops, too. You're probably like your three-car, four-car, your full dedicated shops. Now, something I want to talk about before I let you go is, remember I made that comment about insulated garage doors. We, you need, you know, especially during the summer too, because, you know, we're not a one season shop, right? Yeah, well, you're out there working the summer, it gets hot, doesn't it? Well, this will help you both in the winter and in the summer, and that's a good insulation kit. And this is $55. This is a single door. If you have a two car garage, you're going to want to get a two door kit. You see, they got one listed down below there for $94.89. Now, if you don't like that silvery kind of panel, you want something that has a little more finished look, you can spend a bit more and get something like this. 
Uh, it doesn't even look like it's got something in there, does it? But it, it does. Let's see here. There's, there's the before. There's after. Before. After. So you can see it. it it's it got these filler panels that just sit right in there. And you got to be careful when you're doing stuff like this. Make sure you're not adding too much weight so that a spring on the garage door can still balance the old weight out and you're not throwing it off. And lastly... You might want to put a seal on it. You know, uh, trust me, I, I'm a big fan of seals. <laughs> they're, they're some tasty treats. But that said, no, no, you want a, a seal under that door to make sure there's not too much wind blowing in and out and you're losing all your heat. Now, if you're running around those propane heaters, maybe you don't. You might need that extra wind. Anyway, there you go. There's the, uh, there's Blue's, uh, you know, news for you as to how to heat your garage without, you know, hurting yourself or someone you care about, because we don't want to hear any headlines about that. Stay warm, stay safe. By the way, for those of you looking at this, yeah, this is the forecast for this week. And those numbers, those are the highs. Yeah, read them and weep, people. I'm, I'm going back to my my, uh, my winter home down in the Bahamas. I'm going to get me a margarita or something. You all stay safe, stay warm, and take care. What does Red say? Shine on.